This is lesson 1b, and we continue talking about scientific notation and calculations uh, using exponential notations. Uh, so, today we mostly will be dealing with addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. So, to begin with, let's, uh, let's work on addition and subtraction. All right, so let's start with problem number one. 40.71 times 10 to the 8 plus 222 times 10 to the 6. Okay, so to approach this question, uh, there is this very important rule that you have to understand all the way in the beginning. Anytime to do, uh, anytime you do addition subtraction, this time you can say this is addition. Uh, it's really important to understand that you have to have same exponents. Same exponents. Uh, so, for example, even though you see, oh, you, it seems like there is a 40.71 plus 222, it seems like you could just add it together, but we cannot simply do it. Uh, because, well, because we have 10 to the 8 and 10 to the 6. Exponents are not the same. If exponents are not the same, we are not allowed to add these numbers, because the answer is not going, going to be valid. So, let's try to do anything, but just to make sure that we get same kind of exponents. So, uh, the, for example, you can start using this number, and for example, you can convert this exponent a to, to 6, or alternatively, you could use this exponent 6 and convert all the way to 8. So, just to begin with, let's check one way and another. So, just let's say, let's say we have 10 to, to the 8, and we are going to make it 10 to the 6. So, the question is, what happened to overall exponent? Uh, the number 10 to the 8 decreased to 10 to the 6. So exponent also decreased. Uh, so the exponent decreased by 2 units. If this exponent decreases by 2 units, then this number should be increasing by 2 units. So instead of 40.71, we should move this dot 2 places to the right. This one was decreased by 2, meaning this one should be increased by 2. So it should be 1, 2, so the point become, goes right after 1. And then second part of it because gets to be unchanged. Now notice, since, the, since there are the same bases and same exponents, we can freely add the numbers. We can just say 40.71, I mean 4071 plus 222, 222. We get three nine two four four thousand two ninety three, and all we need to do with the same exponent, we just need to multiply it by same exponent that we've been using, that has been used in this, uh, in the beginning. Uh, why is it done this way? Because uh, just to check it, you could just factor it out. Uh, for example, you could just take ten to the six out of parentheses. We get forty seventy one. 222 and 10 to the 6 gets factored out. So plus 222. So basically we add up two numbers and we write down 10, 10 to the 6 on outside. And that's why we get, and there should be multiplication sign in between. But that's why we get 4293 times 10 to the 6. Now if you look at it carefully, you can see that this answer 4293 is not correct because the dot is located right after 3. But it should be in between first and second number. First number should be non-zero. So to check the situation, to change the situation, we need to move the dot between four and two. So this dot would be we move to the left. The dot decrease in the number. So instead of four thousand two ninety three, we get four point two ninety three. So the number was decreased by three places. So ten to the six should be increased by 3 places. So 10 to the 6 plus 3 more places gives us 10 to the 9. And this is final result. Uh, this is method 1.
let's try to do same kind of method but instead of changing first number we are going to change second number first number will be unchanged plus second number would have to be changed instead of 10 to the 6 we, we want to get 10 to the 8 so we have so we are going to do 10 to the 6 and we are just going to write down 10 to the 8 like this notice that 6 and 8 this number was increased by 2 meaning so 22 should be uh, should be decreased by 2 so that from here goes two places to the left we got one and two so we get or we get in between uh this first and second two so the answer becomes 2.22 and again you can just factor out 10 to the 8 and alternatively just add up 4071 plus 2.2022 all we need to do is add up two numbers so we got 40.71 plus 2.22 so we get 3924 dot 4293 times 10 to the 8 now, note, now notice this uh, that this dot should be in between 4 and 2 so this dot should be moved one place to the left just to get between first and second number so we should get 4.293 uh, times 10 so notice that this number was decreased by 1 meaning this number should be increased by 1 by 1 that's why we get 10 to the 9 and this is going to be final answer for this problem notice that it matches this result and this result is identical so it's up to you which one to choose. Sometimes it can be a little easier. Uh, sometimes it might be a little more difficult. So let's continue with the next example. The next problem that we are going to work on involves multiplication and division. For multiplication, we get this kind of rule. Uh, we have a to the n times am and according to this, this rule we actually get the same base which is a and n plus m will be just added together and an m will be added so we got n plus m so let's try to do some of the problems uh, so we can get 10 to the third multiply by 10 to the second so when you do this problem, you see we have base a a a. So this is 10 10. In over here it should also be 10. And then to do the calculation, all we need to do is 10 plus m, which is 3 plus 2, should give us 5. Uh, let's try to do the next problem. We have 10 to the negative 5 times 10 to the negative 2. In this case, uh, we keep the same base. Uh, so you can only do this problem if you have same basis. If you don't have same basis, we are not allowed to do this problem. And then it says negative 5 and negative 2. And it should be added together. So negative 5. Let's just do it someplace here. Negative 5 plus negative 2. You can take this and this in parentheses. Notice that numbers have the same sign. It means that this number should be added together. And we should keep... Uh, the overall sign of the numbers, which is negative and negative, so we keep a negative sign. So the answer is negative 7. C. We have 10 to the negative 3 times 10 to the 5th. Same thing. We should keep the same base. When it comes to exponents, it just this exponent plus 5 plus second exponent. So negative 3 plus 5, in this case, notice that negative 3 and 5, 3 and 5 have the same, have different exponent, have different signs. This is negative and this is positive. So we need to subtract larger number minus small number. In this case, it's going to be 5 minus 3 gives us 2. And we keep sign of larger number. 
five is a larger number, that's why two is a positive number. So you just put a uh, second power. So enough rules about enough problems with multiplication. Now we can do some problems with division. So you, ha you have a n over a m. Same as multiplication, we keep the same same base, but exponents should should be subtracted. For example, 10 to the third over 10 to the second. So in this case, we have 10. So, so same base. And uh, this exponent should be subtracted. 3 minus 2 gives us 1. So we just write down 10 to the fourth. So you can actually just write, write down 10. Uh, first power doesn't really change anything. Next example. So let's say that's B. A. Now example B. We have 10 to the negative 5 divided by 10 to the second. So again, we keep same same base 10. And right now we need to subtract exponents. So negative 5 minus 2. Notice that 5 and 2 have the same sign. So it means the number should be added. 5 plus 2 gives us 7. And we keep a sign of we keep overall sign, negative and negative, so we keep negative. So that's why we get negative 7. Problem C. Oh, we get 10 to the negative 5 over 10 to the negative 2. So we keep the same piece. For exponents, we get negative 5 minus bottom, negative 2. Keep in mind that minus and minus actually gives us plus. So it's negative 5 plus 2. And then to finish this up, we have a larger number minus small number just because signs are different. So 5 minus 2 gives us 3, and we keep sign of a larger number, which is 5. So it should be 10 to the negative 3. Another rule, which might be kind of confusing with this multiplication rule, but you must be extremely careful when you do this problem. Uh, when you have a n to the m, in this case, if you have parentheses, exponents actually being multiplied, n times m. So, for example, if you have 2.0 times 10 to the 3 to the third power, and everything is to the second power. Actually, let me just change it a bit. Well, let's just say 10 to the third and to the second, just like that. So, and this is problem A. In this case, we write down same same base. And in this case, 3 should be multiplied by 2. And it gives us 6. So make sure it's multiplication. Uh, for example, you can have B. We can, we can have 10 to the negative 3. And this is to the 5th power. So, again, we keep the same base. But negative 3 should be multiplied by 5. 3 times 5 gives us 15. And you keep negative sign overall. And uh, one more rule which applies to these basic calculations. If you have a b to the power n, then what we do is we take a and b to the same power and we multiply it in between. So let's say a should, should be taken to the n power, b should be taken to the n power, and it all should be multiplied. So, example could be this, 2.0, let's say, times 10 to the negative 3 to the second power. So, make sure that you take 2.0 to the second power times 10 to the negative 3 to the second power. And just complete the calculation. 2 to the second gives us 4. And this is the same rule as we talked above, negative 3 times 2 gives us negative 6, so you have 10 to the negative 6. And that's final answer for this problem. So let's move on to the next rule.